these kinds of people to me. I have people who I'll be like, man, I really need to come up with some money to travel to this tournament. And they'll be like, here you go, buddy, 200 bucks. Get you, get your flight, get out there. I want to see you. I want to see you taking bodies. You know, I'm like, damn, that is so cool. Thank you. I love you. You know? Sure. And that all just comes from like, I don't have a cult following, but I have supporters. I have fans, you know, and it's just because I like playing the game. And any other reasoning you want for fight, playing fighting games, whether it's, oh, I want to look cool, I want to practice a skill, I just want to play, like, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you're here, you're playing with us, you're my friend, you are surrounded by friends. And so long as you're not a creep and ruin that somehow, you will remain a friend, you know? Uh, I always tell people, everyone I fight in a fighting game, sure. When I'm, sometimes when the camera's off and I'm just playing with my friends, I'll be the first guy to say, man, fuck that guy. That guy's a piece of shit, you know? Or sure. something like that. Like sometimes you, when the camera's off, the you, yeah. you just, you get a little angry at times. And trust me, I've said some slimy things about people when the cameras are off, but it's never said in like, I genuinely hate that person. It's more just venting the frustration of losing out, you know? Right. Well, it's, yeah. like you said earlier, are you are you complaining because you want to complain? Because sometimes that's a cathartic thing. So, mm -hmm. you know, if you're in this place of like, damn it, I just need to let it out. You know, as long as you recognize that. Yes. Like even Speaking now, of... there are times when I wish um, I could just go nuts on the mic, right? And sometimes <laughs> it slips out. Sometimes it slips out. I do have ADHD and mm -hmm. autism, right? Um, but, you know, like, uh, without being too specific earlier, when I told that guy off, like, you got to come to me or oh. I'll look for another match. Yeah. Like, yeah, that came off as rude, right? And I understand that, you know, I feel bad in retrospect, but in the moment, it was like, I'm just trying to keep it going. There was no ill will behind it, but I was like, I can't fuck with you. You got to come to me. And he responded... Mm frustrated in a frustrating way right i almost typed fuck you i almost did but i decided you know i don't need to worry about that let casa handle it right sure it's not my it's not my battle at that point like brad said uh, as long as you like can take a moment and just recognize it you know what i'm saying because mm -hmm. a lot of people they'll just like a lot of people will just sit up there and let it rock and just you know have this it is what it is attitude without taking people into consideration but i mean from what I can gauge, it seems like you're a pretty nice guy. So, I mean, like, mm -hmm. it seems like you're really, you know, at least taking people, uh, taking people's best interests at heart, especially when you're, you know, hitting them for 40% every time you touch them, so. Well, it's just because the thing about fighting games is that, sure, we're fighting each other, right? We're competing. We're, at the end of the day, this is akin to a combat sport in that we are quite literally beating the shit out of each other, right? Mm -hmm. in, the nicest, in the nicest way possible through a digital medium. Mind right you. but you know tempers tempers flare you know they do they do make the right okay. bunch it's okay for your temper to flare that's the thing is that people don't understand too is that like uh someone was talking about you know people making excuses right because they couldn't deal with something or something like that i think excuses are a good thing in a way because you need an excuse to get back in there a reason to keep fighting right any anything you can come up with whether it's that move is bullshit if they weren't doing this if i would have just done this anything you can say to yourself that puts you back in the ring that gets you in there trying again it's good you know so long as whatever it is that you're going to complain about doesn't actually affect someone else's enjoyment of the game i've seen people who doom and gloom and complain about stuff who I feel like they're actively like sabotaging communities at times, you know, like uh, I fight with Teddy I a feel lot that. because yeah, I fight yeah. with Teddy tree bark a lot, right? Because Teddy loves XR, but he, he actively does not like strive. Right. And as a result, okay. uh, some of his fucking posts and everything come off as facetious and frustrating to read because, you know, of course they yeah were. i mean cause right. he, uh, like i can totally like sympathize with the idea that like doom scrolling really don't do shit for anybody right and just like coming from a negative headspace ah, and, all, like, all, and being on 
social, especially being on social media like that all the time and then being in a negative headspace about like your game or how you feel about it all the time can definitely be exhausting. Mm -hmm. Much like playing DJ, so. Oh no, I love fighting DJ, it's great. I mean, I mean that unironically. I know, I know that might have sounded a little, uh, but no, I, I genuinely like playing against DJ, right? Really? Okay. Yeah. Who is, who uh, is, the, maybe, maybe it'll be a stupid question. Who is the character that you least like fighting against in Street Fighter 6? Lily. And Lily? It's very, by, okay. it's by a very slim margin. Okay. And I, I say that because, uh, can you tell Dangry to come to me, please? Uh, I say that because I don't like characters that play close to the chest. And what I mean by that is a character who only uses their jabs a lot and is rewarded for doing so is harder for me to deal with than a character who uses like the spectrum of their moveset, you know? 